No. Okay, no. Well, thank you to the good morning and thank you to the organizers who select this uh, topic. And of course, uh, thank you to uh, Aguino to this uh, nice introduction to the argue. I'm going so to, uh, the, to present some uh, experimental uh, evidence of how strong is in the interplay between uh, the dynamic and uh, structure in sub-barrier and the near-barrier fusion reaction experiment. So I consider some uh, various uh, features, the near and sub-barrier uh, in a near and sub-barrier heavy ion fusion, the enhancement, already uh, introduced by Aguino, the role of barrier distribution, and uh, in effect, uh, more recently observed, that is the, the hindrance effect, uh, already recognized as a general phenomenon because it has been observed in several uh, systems. I will discuss uh, also the coupling to the transfer channel, the effect of this uh, channel with positive Q value, the, uh, and uh, the case of silicon plus silicon, that is a system that has been uh, extensively and uh, uh, um, studied in detail below and above the barrier where has been observed some oscillatory structure. And then the, some uh, perspective. So, uh, already from the early studies uh, of the subarial fusion, uh, we uh, noticed that uh, maybe there was a strongly dependence on the structure of the collided nuclei. And uh, as already mentioned, this uh, systematic of oxygen 16 on a different isotope of samarium. Here is, uh, is, uh, there is uh, clear evidence of how the uh, deformation, the static deformation of samarium 154 play an important role to increase the uh, fusion probability. But also, looking at the systematic of Beckerman, the nickel plus nickel, there is a, an effect of the transfer channel. Here is uh, the system nickel 58 on nickel 64 that has a positive Q value for the transfer channel. There is uh, an enhanced respect to the, other, uh, to the other cases. Well, uh, to disentangle the fitness of the coupling channel uh, has been uh, exploited the concept of body distribution. And uh, uh, it is clear in this two examples, oxygen plus samarium, oxygen plus tusteno, how it is this sensitivity. Is, uh, we are sensitive to the deformation, uh, and is, uh, it is evident in the shape of uh, um, barrier distribution that one can obtain from the um, well measure, the detail measure of uh, excitation function. But not only. Uh, because we have also this uh, uh, nice example of uh, nickel 58 plus nickel 60, where it has been uh, revealed for the first time the existence of, uh, in the body distribution of uh, several uh, well-defined peaks. That uh, has been explained uh, as due to the uh, complex uh, um, surface vibration uh, mode of the two colliding nuclei. Sorry. Well, uh, coming to the effect of the transfer in the subbarrier energy region, here is we have the systematic of calcium plus zirconium. Uh, has been, this uh, system has been studied in great detail, and uh, in this picture is uh, plotted the different excitation function. In, uh, versus this uh, uh, modify energy scale, because when we want to compare different systems, we have to correct for the different uh, Coulomb barrier. But in this case, we, uh, with this scale, uh, has been also uh, taken into account the high energy octopole vibration of calcium 40 and calcium 48. So what uh, this uh, allow to highlight the effect of transfer. That, is, that has um, a positive value 
Q value only for in these two systems, calcium 40 on uh, zirconium 94 and 96. This is also the signature of the transfer effect is uh, well um, uh, shown also uh, in the body distribution. So uh, the, the effect of transfer channel produce uh, a wider distribution with a long tail extended down to low energy. But let's come to a, a more recent effect that has been uh, observed. So it is clear that uh, the um, sub-barrier uh, um, fusion reaction is the, re um, is the balanced result of two main effects. The uh, enhancement uh, due to the coupling of different uh, um, inelastic channel and transfer channel around the barrier. But going down with the energy has been observed that uh, the standard couple channel calculation is not able to reproduce the data. It over predicts the experimental data. There is uh, a convenient way to follow the trend of the excitation function and uh, it is to um, plot the logarithmic derivative of energy weighted cross section. It is plotted here for the t these two systems, nickel 58 plus nickel 58 and nickel 64 plus nickel 64. So the slope of excitation function uh, increase going down with the energy. At a certain energy, we notice this uh, crossing with this, uh, uh, the experimental data cross this uh, limit, uh, LCS limit, which correspond to a, a constant astrophysical factor. So, uh, at this energy, where we notice this crossing, we have, uh, uh, this, uh, we have, we notice a, a maximum in the astrophysical S factor. And this energy is uh, considered the onset of uh, um, the um, fusion hindrance effect. To study this effect, uh, the hindrance effect has been um, has been measured many systems. One of uh, those is the oxygen plus uh, lead. That has been, uh, fusion cross-section has been measured down to 10 uh, nanobar. Here is, uh, we can see that uh, using standard couple channel calculation, we are not able to reproduce the data below certain uh, cross-section. Here is plotting the uh, logarithmic derivative. You notice that uh, the, it uh, approach the LCS limit and the astrophysical factor uh, increase slowly and then show a rather broad uh, behavior uh, kind of plateau. Another system that has been more recently studied is uh, nickel 58 plus uh, um, iron 54. This is a rather stiff system, so uh, there, was the, uh, there was a chance to observe this uh, effect, uh, a rather high cross-section, and indeed, uh, it, this is what we observe at uh, um, uh, point 0.2, point 0.3 uh, millibar, uh, we observe that uh, already the um, standard capacitance calculation is not able to reproduce uh, our data. The uh, logarithmic uh, derivative cross this limit and the astrophysical factor uh, show a, a maximum. So in this plot, uh, Chen, Le, um, Chen Li Jiang uh, collected several systems where this uh, uh, indrance effect has been marked as a, a maximum in the astrophysical effect. Here there are some data also measured uh, in the early 80 at the GSI. So we can conclude that uh, the uh, indrance effect is a uh, general phenomenon that appear when uh, um, the two heavy uh, ion fuse at uh, deep subbarrier energy. But, this is, uh, but the question is, uh, is also true if uh, we move to lighter system of astrophysical interest. The mean, I mean, um, 
in the case where uh, we have a positive Q value for the compound nuclear formation. So any threshold, any energy threshold to produce the compound nucleus. And uh, studying this system, magnesium 24 on silicon 30, we observed that indeed uh, this effect uh, appear. Uh, here is uh, the data, study up to uh, 10, uh, um, 10 microbar. Here is uh, the uh, standard couple channel calculation. And uh, to reproduce this data, one need to introduce uh, a, um, a, different, a different potential, a so-called shallow potential, as is indicated here, that come from the, um, uh, is a double folding potential using m 3 y, -wire, -wire, um, uh, interaction plus a repulsion term at a short range. And uh, with this kind of potential, we, uh, as Benson, uh, is able to reproduce this data we notice uh, uh, this is the um, slope, the crossing point, and the maximum, the astrophysical S fact. So, but come now to the uh, transfer uh, uh, coupling effect. Uh, that the uh, transfer um, give, um, give an effect, uh, um, I choose this uh, system, calcium-40 on zirconium-96, where uh, many uh, neutron transfer channels are present uh, and with the positive Q value. So here is uh, uh, the experimental data. Uh, um, the cross-section has been measured at also at a very uh, deep sub-barrier energy. This is uh, the no coupling limit. So uh, we try to uh, reproduce uh, the data, but uh, including uh, the uh, one phonon uh, of two plus and three mano coupling state in the calculation, we are not able to reach uh, the, um, the data. And also, if uh, uh, in the in this uh, theoretical frame, uh, it is considered the effect of transfer channel. We are here using a, wood stand, a, a, standard, um, a standard couple channel calculation, so a wood saxon potential. You see here that we are far from today's limit to uh, observe this uh, hindrance effect. So uh, comparing with the other system, uh, here is we have uh, calcium-40 on uh, zircon-96 uh, that we have already seen. The other system to reproduce the data, one need to, to introduce this uh, uh, shallow potential. In the case uh, of uh, um, calcium-40 plus zircon-96, uh, also using uh, the uh, wood standard potential, we are uh, um, below the data. So what I mean this? Uh, there is a some uh, there is a qualitative explanation. So one can use uh, the um, m3y potential, uh, neglecting the uh, repulsion part at short range. That's qualitatively saying this uh, um, can be uh, the, the reason can be that uh, in this way the uh, Q value of neutron transfer channel in this system are large and positive, so that the valence nucleon can flow from, uh, fr freely from uh, one nucleo to the other without any hindered due to the Pauli blocking. So, but uh, is, uh, this is the effect uh, at uh, deep sub-barrier energy of uh, transfer. In the case of uh, calcium plus calcium systematic, uh, that uh, look like uh, the nickel plus nickel uh, systematic of uh, Beckerman, one can see that uh, in the case of calcium 40 plus calcium 48, in spite of a large enhancement around the barrier, then, uh, um, then 
we have, so the, we have a, a, a slope that increases slowly respect to the other two systems, but definitely we cross, uh, we observe an index effect. To, so it seems that the effect of transfer is to push at, uh, down at lower energy the effect of hindrance. So uh, let's come to the case of uh, silicon plus silicon. But before to show you the experimental data, let me give a short introduction, uh, starting from the um, light system. In light system, like uh, oxygen 16 plus oxygen 16, has been observed a long time ago an oscillatory structure in the um, fusion cross-section above the barrier. So recently, this structure has been uh, fitted using uh, a shallow potential as uh, well the um, deep sub-barrier energy. So um, the uh, interpretation of this uh, of this structure has been attributed to the successive penetration of different centrifugal barriers. So at each uh, peak has been associated uh, a precise uh, angular momentum. So uh, the question now is uh, what happens when we move to heavier system where the sub-barrier uh, enhancement and the hindrance uh, are stronger. So uh, to look for this kind of structure in heavier system, this could provide a very useful information about the potential and uh, the coupling effect in a wider energy range. So we measure the uh, fusion excitation function of silicon 28 plus silicon 28, starting from above the barrier down to deep sub-barrier energy region. And uh, we uh, observe a, a funny uh, result because uh, uh, soon below the barrier, the uh, standard couple channel calculation using wood Saxon potential over predict the data, but then it, be, it goes closer to the data. So we perform the calculation using a uh, M3Y potential, including the effect, the coupling, coupling the um, low line exciting state of silicon 28. And uh, we obtain this uh, green line that uh, uh, under predict uh, the data at the, in this uh, uh, energy region. So to recover the situation uh, has been, uh, was necessary to, to introduce a weak and short range imaginary potential. The uh, physical reason for that is probably because uh, the system is, uh, um, has a deformation. This nucleus has an oblate deformation that uh, produces some effect, and this effect is uh, simulated, including this uh, imaginary potential. But uh, can we describe with the same, uh, within the same theoretical frame also the uh, above the barrier data? Well, uh, above the barrier, we measure in great detail the cross-section with an energy step of 0.5 MeV and uh, with a very small uh, error bar. Because uh, it is uh, quite convenient to show up the um, oscillation in that region to um, plot the uh, first derivative, so to produce, to extract the derivative from the uh, fusion excitation uh, function, it is necessary to 
get a well precise uh, data. And uh, this is what we obtain. This is a plotting the derivative of uh, energy weighted cross section versus energy. We observe this, uh, this uh, structure that uh, we uh, try to interpret it with the same potential that uh, is able to describe the deep sub uh, energy data. So you see here the no coupling limit with some oscillation that start but uh, became more um, uh, and, and, uh, became more bigger at higher energy. Here is uh, the Wood Saxon potential uh, result, and this is uh, the um, red curves is uh, what we uh, use also to reproduce to fit the data at low energy. So, uh, but these peaks are related to the overcoming of centrifugal barrier. In detail, it seems uh, that uh, we, uh, we have lost this uh, correlation because uh, here is uh, the no coupling limit. We are not uh, in condition to reproduce uh, our oscillatory structure. This is the contribute of different uh, angular momentum. But uh, uh, if you include the uh, coupling effect, the 2 plus and 3 minus state of silicon 28, this peak uh, have a, uh, um, uh, is, um, instead of one peak, we have two. So we have a shift. So uh, this structure comes mainly from the um, sum of different contributions to L, but uh, um, the result come out uh, including the uh, coupling effect. So uh, is uh, the silicon 28 deformation important to clarify the um, employed of this uh, imaginary potential, short range imaginary potential, we uh, perform the um, experimental study of uh, silicon 30 plus silicon 30. The uh, measurement, uh, the data are uh, still preliminary, but uh, we can already see that uh, to reproduce uh, the data one can think to use uh, a, a M3Y plus, uh, plus uh, repulsion part without any, uh, without any imaginary potential. And uh, due to the um, weaker coupling in this case, the silicon 30 is also a spherical one, we restore the, okay, <laughs> we restore the uh, correlation between uh, the peak and the centrifugal barrier. Okay, here is uh, the comparison of these two systems. For the 28-28 silicon, we have uh, a slope that increase, but then we observe a kind of plateau that uh, probably is due to the formation of this nuclei. In the other case, uh, we get this uh, nice uh, cross uh, of the LCS limit, so the hindrance effect uh, seems uh, clearly uh, stated. So what do you learn from this? Uh, we learn that uh, the appearance of oscillation and uh, the trend of sub-barrier cross-section in silicon 28, 28 has been reproduced with the same theoretical frame uh, using uh, uh, this uh, potential plus an imaginary part, short range imaginary part, that probably take into account the deformation um, of 28 silicon. Within that model, the uh, existence of this uh, oscillatory structure is tightly bound to uh, channel coupling. So in this uh, system, in this uh, uh, 
uh, relatively heavy system, more uh, heavier than uh, uh, oxygen plus oxygen or carbon plus cal carbon. The uh, correlation between the overcoming successive uh, centrifugal barrier is lost. As a consequence, the one to one, uh, okay, as a consequence, we have to check the situation with uh, a system where uh, this deformation is not present. So some perspective to go on in this kind of uh, study is uh, to measure, for example, the angular, uh, the angular momentum, an independent uh, observable, the angular, the angular momentum and possibly the spin distribution below the barrier, to, have, uh, to investigate the deep sub-barrier range, range uh, um, cross-section stable beam with high intensity and quality are mandatory. Of course, uh, it will also be interesting to perform some experiment with um, heavy exotic beam, but because we know that the structure uh, has an evolution um, moving from the stability, so maybe this has some uh, unexpected influence also on the subarea fusion. But to do that, one needs to have a high efficiency setup. And uh, the uh, systematic on uh, um, hindrance effect could be uh, provide a reliable um, a prediction of fusion hindrance phenomena in system of astrophysical interest that could help a lot. Thank you very much, and here is the uh, collaboration. Okay, thanks, Giovanna. Uh, we have time for a couple of questions. So I'm curious, how important is having identical nuclei to these oscillations that you have selection rules on whether yeah. L is even or odd? Is that important or not? Yes, it's very important because uh, when uh, you move to uh, a VR system, you have only the even L, uh, contri uh, the contribution of only even L to the cross-section. Otherwise, you have to also the odd L and uh, the result is uh, flat. Uh, yes, uh, we use uh, the, I don't know if uh, they are, uh, the, the parameter of this uh, short range of potential were in the slide, to, uh, to have a better fit of the uh, situation below and above the barrier. But changing the uh, imaginary potential parameter we can have uh, we, uh, the amplitude of this oscillation change uh, or dump, depend, but uh, the peak stay there. Internal to the, barrier? internal to the barrier, internal to the barrier, yes. It's a short range, uh, imagine. Okay, Neil? Well, oh, I, <coughs> I was going to ask a question, but I think it's a, I think it's a comment in, in connection with the imaginary potential because you, you cited the paper of uh, Hagino and myself in talking about the silicon-silicon. <clears throat> we, we, we showed that it's impossible to fit these oscillations with the, the, the magnitude you have just from the odd-even effects, just from the yes. fact that you've lost the odd partial waves. And of course, we also did coupled channels calculations, and you can't get the oscillations with uh, coupled channels. <coughs> calculations either uh, and I think the only thing that is giving the oscillations is the addition of some bizarre imaginary potential and all I want to say is that I think one does not understand the physics of what yes. is actually going on yes. if you need to if you can only fit this with a bizarre imaginary potential then we haven't understood the, uh, understood the physics it's not a criticism of your experiment no, 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 I agree, but I, think, I, agree. But I yes. think we should all understand that physics sure. is not understood there yes sure. Uh, well, it is well known that in uh, elastic scattering and alpha transfer reactions between N-alpha nuclei, there are strong oscillations. 
and these were explained partly by uh, quasi-molecular resonances or by successive alpha transfers between the two. Can the, in the case of silicon 28, could it not be related some alpha transfer processes which interfere with a more direct process and then it gives the oscillations? Because in the case of silicon 30 plus silicon 30 where there is not alpha structure, you don't see these oscillations. So this could be some we mechanism. Have, uh, we there have are less. There are. We have still to measure this uh, energy range in uh, silicon 30 plus silicon 30. Anyway, probably this uh, oscillation that you are mentioning uh, has a, a wider, uh, smaller um, energy uh, period. I think it's uh, from uh, few uh, kV, uh, 100 kV. If I remember, okay. Okay, well, very last question, Martin, for you. Anyway. Okay. But don't ask it then. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Giovanna.